This is everything that you need to know when packing for Iceland. Woo! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so we have just come back from our road trip around Iceland and my god it was amazing incredible best trip we've done we're going to show you in our other videos how we got around the island how we drove how we seen places that not many can see and like how we did it in the price that we did make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know when our new Iceland videos are out but in this video we're showing you everything that we packed and everything that we recommend taking so these bags right here are the bags that we use for all our travel they fit on the plane as a carry-on they are the North Face extra small duffel bags. Honestly, the quality of them are amazing. You can fit so much. So yeah, they are the best travel find we have had so yeah. far. With Iceland being about minus 20 degrees when we went, it is pretty much cold all year round. So we always recommend wearing your bulkiest, biggest, warmest clothes to the airport so you're not having to pack them. What we actually wore was layers of thermal i did two thermal tops and one thermal pants i think you did the same i did the same two thermal tops one thermal pants and then on top of the pants i wore some ski pants they were very good waterproof and thermal which was good for you yeah. i wore two pairs of pants one of them were a thermal insulated uh, hiking pant and then the top layer pant were just waterproof because you need that outer layer to be waterproof just in case it does rain on top of my thermals i then put on a really thick fleece i actually brought two of these so one did end up in my bag but it was just in case one got wet one got dirty just remember you need your backups because fleeces are hard to dry i also had my black north face fleece as my last layer before my coat and then onto the coats i had a down feathered jacket which is insulated so it keeps you warm thin and then over the top of that i put a waterproof north face jacket and then i just wore the columbia waterproof hiking jacket which is obviously a coat as well and it's quite long it's one that pulls over your head so it can yeah. be really warm it's just so important to make sure that outer layer is waterproof even them shoes so our shoes i wore my hiking north face shoes they're waterproof i wore my north face snow boots and they're fully waterproof fully as well. waterproof if you are buying hiking shoes or snow boots it does let you know the warmth and the waterproofness yeah. so if you actually just check and make sure they're both warm and waterproof this part can really boost the cost of your trip even though it's not part of the trip yeah you're gonna need it you are really gonna need it some of the stuff you might already have like the thermals we already have yeah but the outer layers we needed the best stuff to stay warm it's definitely worth spending the money on it 100 percent. because it makes your trip so much more enjoyable you're not thinking about the cold you're not freezing yeah. you can just enjoy your trip and the ski stuff is so good so if you are shopping for either pants or gloves search up ski pants ski gloves because they're made for the freezing cold conditions yeah. and a lot of the time just double check but they are waterproof and a big tip is to try and get them where they work with your phone because yeah. you are not going to be wanting to take your hands out your gloves to take pictures so now we're going on to our essentials that we took inside the bag because obviously we couldn't wear everything we did try but we couldn't wear everything and there are just little bits that we would definitely recommend bringing that you might not even think of if you are finding this video useful and you are going to iceland soon make sure you subscribe and like and turn on your notifications because we have got loads more iceland videos coming okay so if you like us we stay in hostels and you might not get a towel in your hostel so we just took a little microfiber towel if you watched our island pack with us you know that we take these everywhere with us they're so handy they'll also be in the link down below you can also use these for much more in case there is already towels in your room they're just like essential imagine you get wet by a waterfall or it's raining you've got them in the car aren't yeah you? you've just got it with yeah. you we also took one wet bag between us they are quite big we took these more for the sky lagoon but again if anything got wet if we needed to wear a poncho we just could put them in that bag and then nothing else of our clothes would get wet if you are traveling around and that's your only bag that you've got if you're putting wet clothes into everything in there, it's going to get wet. Yeah. So I'd definitely take a wet bag. And you've got to think of like your passports, your important documents, literally anything. You don't want things getting wet. Where are the passports? <laughs> 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 so another thing that was definitely really handy, we took flat pack water bottles and they actually had a little clip on them. So if you actually did need to clip it onto you, you could carry it around with you. We took them into the car every day. It was just like... It was handy it to was, have. It was really, really handy, handy to yeah. have and obviously they just fit really flat in your bag. It literally takes no space. No space at all. And then a big thing I took and Brad didn't was I took sliders with us staying in hostels and stuff and like shared bathrooms. I wanted to be able to come out the shower in my sliders. That's one of my regrets. I regret not taking my sliders. 
I should have listened to Mel. In terms of spare clothes, you'll definitely need a few spare clothes. We went for seven nights traveling around Iceland. So we took spare fleece. This was definitely necessary. 100%. If it gets wet or sweaty or anything, you've got the spare fleece and that is so crucial to keeping you warm. And the main reason I did it was so that I could switch up my outfit a little bit. <laughs> I know it's not important, you could barely see it, but I mean, it just might make you feel a bit fresher. Spare t-shirt, like a t-shirt like this and some shorts, just cheap stuff that you don't really care about. Just thin. to Thin, very thin. Thin. Thin shorts, thin t-shirt. Whenever you're inside somewhere in Iceland, it's red hot because obviously the heat everywhere. So you don't need big thick pajamas, even though it's freezing outside. In terms of your accessories, you'll definitely need a spare hat and a spare pair of gloves. 100%. Just in case. I mean, I know you wore a pair underneath your gloves. It gets really, really cold. Honestly, you can't actually describe how cold it gets. Yeah. So taking a spare thin pair of gloves to go underneath your insulated gloves is really handy. A big tip. Big, big tip. Big tip is to catch the Northern Lights. If you want to get a good video, you will need a tripod. Just a mini tripod that can fold up nicely in your bag. We 100% recommend taking one. Oh my God, I am one. so glad we took that. Honestly, if we didn't take the tripod, we wouldn't have got any videos of the Northern Lights. You can get your pictures, but you've got to keep really still. But for time-lapse, that camera's got to be so still. Yeah. So the tripod meant that we could get videos like this. It also meant that you could just leave your tripod and go and take your pictures. You didn't have to stand holding, recording. That was probably the biggest, most important thing that we took, in yeah. other than be keeping warm. But that, take a tripod. If you've not got one, we'll link one down below from Amazon. They're really cheap, £20. Yeah. In terms of wires, I've got this really useful divider case that you can put all your wires in and it's really thin, so it folds down thin. This was really useful for our wires because I had so many. I took my drone, so I needed all charges for that. We took power banks because you're on the road all day. You need the charges for the power bank. Yeah. That's the only reason our phone stayed alive, didn't it? The big thing is when your phones get cold, your battery will just absolutely go down so quick. And so, the wind. Yeah, we took three power banks. We took a MagSafe and two USB plugins. Yeah. Definitely bring more than one. If you do have a drone, take it to Iceland. Some places you might be a bit worried about taking it, but take it to Iceland. It is so worth it. I didn't get it up as much as I would have loved to, but that is just due to the weather. The wind is just ridiculous. It's crazy. Also, remember thermal socks. You want to layer your socks. Your feet getting cold wow. is the worst thing to have. If you get thermal socks, your feet won't be cold at all. So hands and feet can get cold so easily. So make sure they're thermal. Little bits that I took. Obviously, we got our liquid bag. We took shampoo, conditioner, body wash in case any hostels didn't have them. I took no makeup. It's not really the place to wear it. And then I also took contact lenses, which were amazing. I wear glasses all the time, but with the snood on, it obviously fogs your glasses up or going from cold weather to a hot room, your glasses fog up. It, one of the times one did blow out. So just bring be careful, spares. bring spares. Because the wind will blow them out. The wind <laughs> is that strong. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't see. Bless you. Are you all right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need a snood. That's another oh, accessory to take, <laughs> snood. I preferred mine to yours just because it had the toggle, the pull, yeah. so it could tighten on my face, whereas yours kept blowing down, didn't it? Definitely try and get a snood that has the toggle on the back that pulls and tightens. Yeah. So we have got loads of other videos coming that are based around Iceland, so we've got a guide, a vlog, and we've obviously got this one, so if you do find this useful, you'll more than likely find all the other videos really useful. Use everything we're giving you as guidance. I took a long time planning this trip, so... A lot of effort went into it. We will be eventually bringing out a guide because we've worked so hard planning this trip and so much effort has gone into it. It'll run through the cost, everything that we've seen, the map we use. Literally everything that you're going to need to know. So handy. So if you turn all notifications on, keep up to date with us on YouTube, TikTok. We're going to be bringing out a Brad and Mill Instagram and then you will eventually see that guide coming out. We appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. We hope you found this useful. Leave any comments down below if you have any more questions and we will answer them. 100%. And enjoy your travels. Enjoy your travels. Travels!